This morning, I wanted to talk a little bit about our hog cooler. This hog cooler, get down here, H-O-G-G, -G. but uh, this is a well-made cooler, very heavy duty, and as you can see looking at the top of it, we've got a scale, and we've got indentions for cups, cup holders, and also notice that they have slot cut out, so if liquid gets in here, it's going to run out. You have heavy duty rubber handles, lock it down. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm holding my phone. It's pretty tight. It holds that lid on there tight. And uh, you can see here that you can actually padlock these uh, lid shut. There's one on each side. But also as you lift this lid, now like I said, this is a heavy cooler. I'm not sure about the way it's on the website. Let me slide this up a little bit. One thing I like about it is even empty. You can open that lid all the way up and it doesn't try to flip the cooler over backwards. Now you can see how thick, that's at least two inches thick uh, right here on this front side. A pin going all the way through, really heavy to hold the lid on. You've got a rubber gasket seal on the bottom of the lid that seals on this ledge so it's pretty airtight seal now this cooler comes with I believe this is 20 liter and I think it's uh, they say it'll have like 34 12 ounce cans or something like that but you've got a 20 I think a 45 a 60 uh, you see all that on their website but this one has a basket so you can keep stuff out of the ice now I've got to where I take uh, like half gallon milk cartons or you know something like that and freeze my ice in it and that way when it melts i actually have ice water that i can drink and you don't have to worry about your stuff getting soggy so uh just one of them in here will keep you for the weekend just pre-cool your stuff before you put it in the, the cooler and you'll be good for a weekend but it comes with this wire basket if you need it you can put it in there if you don't you don't have to you see there's a divider here this is actually a uh, cutting board I haven't taken the plastic off of it yet but it is a cutting board so that comes with the cooler once I take the plastic off it'll be easier to handle sliding up and down in the slot so you can keep your drinks on one side and your food items on the other side and keep your cans from crushing your food so that's pretty cool. Now, I showed you you can lock the lid. Well, the bottom part of that lock is actually a bottle opener. There's one on each corner. So that's very cool. Now let's go ahead and shut this down. And like I said, these are really stout. You hear it pop on there. So that's pretty much an airtight seal. And now, Another good thing about this is you have some nice deep carry handles up in here. And then you have your folding. Let me get this right. Handle here. And it locks in this groove here. So it's locked in the upright position. Pretty heavy handle. And it, you can move it forward all the way, or you can take it, like I said, it clicks pretty hard, like that. Now let's turn it on around, lift it up on the end, and you've got your, okay, here, right here it is, this is the 20 liter, big 20 stamped inside of it. You also have these feet on the bottom, keep it up off the ground. And then here's your plug, as you notice it's got a chain that holds, keeps you from losing it. And it screws in. Don't have to unscrew it all the way. As you can see, you just screw it enough to get that hole right there past your lip. And you can drain your fluids out of the 
cooler. And I didn't film it. But there it is. Nice that they put that on there so you don't lose that. And like I said, you just have to get it backed out enough that you'll see that hole right there and you, it'll drain out. Or you can take it all the way out, whichever you want to do. But that's pretty much it for this cooler. Uh, you know, they're not cheap, but you get what you pay for. And we've already taken it out a couple times and we have had no issues with it. So uh, you can go to uh, Hog, H-O-G-G Outfitters and you can buy these coolers. Uh, you can buy some stainless tumblers and they have some other stuff too. Uh, it's worth going to their website to check them out. And uh, like I said, it's a pretty heavy cooler. And I like this 20, 20 liter, I got this a smaller size because I can actually set this in the small side. Okay, let me, let me go back. In my Jeep Cherokee, I have a split seat in the rear. But one seat's long and the other seat is skinnier. And this fits on that skinny side. That way I can leave the big side completely open for Remington. So this fits in there perfect. I can set it lengthways. Or I can, I can set it either way in the seat. And then... Uh, I'm good to go. So anyway, y'all go check out Hog Coolers. If you're looking for one of these heavy coolers, uh, I really like these. I'm glad that Ashley went with Hog. And I've looked at some others that was a little bit more expensive. And uh, I saw some others that kind of run around the same price range. But it didn't seem to take this thing long at all to get to us when she ordered it. For weekend trips, this right here actually gets us by. But if you're just going for a weekend, Something like this is all you, that you need. You know, I can put some ice in there and uh, pre-cool my stuff before I load the cooler. And I load the cooler right before we go. And that stuff's cold all weekend. I was using the Walmart coolers and they do not keep the ice like this does. So, but you know, they work. If that's what you got, use it. As long as you're getting out there, that's all that matters. So I'm rambling on. I'm going to get off here. Go check out Hog.